Hey guys, so before I get into this video, I first want to show you all of these amazing goodies that Dossier sent over to me, including a new perfume, which I have been using religiously called Fruity Magnolia. I'll hold it up for you guys so you can see. And as you guys can see, it includes all of these amazing top notes, including magnolia, peony, rose, pomegranate, and just a bunch of other very natural scents that culminate into a beautiful perfume it also comes with a card which lists all of the ingredients all of the notes as well the concentration level what it's inspired by this one happens to be inspired by versace and it also comes with a thank you note and how it works down below and it basically guarantees that all of your perfumes are natural and are just amazing quality and match your favorite iconic scents so as you guys can see i have about six perfume boxes over here so they sent me quite a lot which i'm very excited about and i am just so excited to use all of these i know i showed you guys spicy vanilla last time and told you this was a fall favorite now i'm showing you guys the fruity magnolia because i am sure that this is going to be my winter favorite and additionally, I got a candle as well. This is the Love at First Match candle from Dossier. How cute is it? It also comes with a little card, which tells you what scent it is. This is the Gourmand White Flowers, and it honestly smells so good. And I am sure that I will be enjoying it throughout the winter as well. So if you guys are interested in receiving any of these perfumes or candles, you can go to my description box down below where there is a code for you to use. Now onto the video. So first I'm starting out with my blur activator primer onto my skin. I did get a little bit on my hair. Then I go in with my Bobbi Brown foundation. This is in the shade Warm Sand and I just apply that before going in with my concealer from BH Cosmetics. This is the Pro Concealer, Studio Pro Concealer, and I just apply it. You can see that I'm applying it on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, on my cheek, the sides of my jaw, before blending it out with a beauty blender. And while it's looking a little ghastly right now, I'm gonna go in with another concealer in a darker shade, and I'm gonna use this as a cream contour for my cheeks, my nose, as well as my chin and my forehead. Now that I'm looking like a who from Whoville, I just use my beauty blender to blot out the product and apply it evenly across my skin. And you guys can already see it's adding so much structure to my face, but we're going to go clean it up with my Pacifica powder. This is a mattifying powder. This works so great for pictures, you guys. This is honestly my go-to powder, although I do use my Laura Mercier powder as well. But for this video, I decided to simplify this look and just go in with my mattifying powder to save time as well. And now I'm using a different brush. Um, I'm using a more of a flat tip brush as opposed to an angular brush, just so that I can blend out the powder more evenly against the contour. Then I go back in with the angular shape brush just to do a little bit of touch-ups on the forehead. Knowing which brush to use, you guys, is honestly the key to makeup. It takes a bit of time, but once you get it, you get it. I especially like to use the angular brush around the bottom parts of my face. And then I'll touch up with a beauty blender just to blend it out more evenly. The beauty blender can be wet or dry, doesn't matter. I think it was dry at this point because I was just doing some touch ups. Now 
Now I did do most of my eyebrows off camera, but I'm just showing you guys how I kind of line them before going in with my eyeshadow. And I'm using a brown for the crease right now, kind of like a reddish brown for my crease before darkening it with a more cocoa brown. I like to start out with the crease first just to avoid it being too messy. But I apply the darker shade of brown on top of the reddish brown in my crease. Then I go in with the shade Charm. And I apply that on the inner corners of my eyelid and just most of my eyelid as well. Clean up around the under eye. Then I do my lashes real quick before going in with my NARS lipstick stick. This is a great lipstick stick, you guys. I pretty much just outline my lower lip and make sure that I spread it evenly. Then I add a clear gloss in the center of my bottom lip to add some definition. Clean up my cheeks a bit, adding a little bit more of that reddish brown eyeshadow just to define my cheeks a little more. Spraying my face with my Urban Decay setting spray then going in with highlight on my nose, my cheekbones, and my forehead, and a little bit on my brow bone as well. And this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon.